Let's go! What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Sarah. Get ready for some seriously epic content because we're about to drop into the most amazing places in Thailand. We're talking next level beaches, temples that will blow your mind, and enough street food to feed a small country. Over the next few minutes, we're gonna hit you with 15 places you absolutely have to see when you visit Thailand. No, seriously, if you don't go to these places, did you even really go to Thailand? I don't think so. Let's get this adventure started. All right, first up, we gotta start in Bangkok. It's like the New York City of Thailand, but way more scooters and like 10 times the humidity. The street food scene here is next level. We're talking pad thai that will make you cry tears of joy, mango sticky rice that'll make you wanna slap your mama in a good way, and enough weird and wonderful snacks to keep you guessing for weeks. But Bangkok isn't just about the food, even though that's a really good reason to go. You've got temples everywhere, crazy markets where you can buy literally anything, and rooftop bars that make you feel like you're on top of the world. Seriously, the energy in Bangkok is insane. So, have you guys ever been to Bangkok? What did you think? Drop it in the comments, I wanna hear all about it. All right, next up we're heading north to Chiang Mai, which is like the complete opposite of Bangkok. Think lush green jungles, ancient temples, and elephants roaming around like it's no big deal. It's definitely more laid back than Bangkok, but trust me, there's still plenty to do. You can hike through the jungle to hidden waterfalls, visit elephant sanctuaries, make sure they're ethical, and wander through the old city with its crumbling walls and beautiful temples. And the night markets here? Forget about it. One thing you definitely can't miss in Chiang Mai is the Yiping Lantern Festival, where thousands of people release glowing lanterns into the sky. So tell me, what are you guys most interested in seeing in Chiang Mai? The temples, the elephants, the food? Let me know. Okay, let's be real. You can't go to Thailand without hitting up the beaches. And when it comes to beaches, Phuket is the OG. White sand, turquoise water, palm trees swaying in the breeze. It's basically a postcard come to life. You can also go island hopping to places like Phi Phi Island, more on that later. Explore hidden coves or get your adrenaline pumping with some water sports. What about you guys? Did you know Phuket was an island? I'm curious. All right, let's switch gears for a second and talk about history. Before Bangkok was the capital of Thailand, there was Ayutthaya. And let me tell you, this place is packed with history. We're talking ancient temples, crumbling palaces, and giant Buddha statues everywhere you look. It's like stepping back in time and it's seriously impressive. You can rent a bike and explore the ruins on your own or hire a tuk-tuk to drive you around. Would you guys try riding a scooter through Ayutthaya? Let me know in the comments. Okay, Pattaya is definitely interesting. It's known for its nightlife, let's just say that. But if you're looking for a good time, Pattaya will definitely show you a good time. But Pattaya isn't just about partying. You've also got beautiful beaches, water sports, and some surprisingly delicious food. Have you guys ever had Somtum? It's this spicy papaya salad that will set your mouth on fire, but in a good way. It's definitely a unique place, and it's not for everyone. Would you guys be down to try Somtum? Let me know. Okay, Krabi is like the love child of Phuket and Chiang Mai. You've got stunning beaches, towering limestone cliffs, lush jungles, and crystal clear water. It's basically paradise on earth. You can spend your days kayaking through mangroves, rock climbing, exploring hidden lagoons, or just chilling on the beach. And the sunsets here? Forget about it. When would you guys want to visit Krabi? Let me know. All right, history buffs, this one's for you. Sukhothai was actually the first capital of Thailand way back in the 13th century, and the ruins here are seriously impressive. We're talking huge Buddha statues, ancient temples, and crumbling palaces. It's a little bit like Ayutthaya, but it's even older and more atmospheric. What do you guys think about visiting ancient ruins? Is it something you'd be interested in? Let me know. Okay. Koh Samui is another one of those islands that's just ridiculously beautiful. White sand beaches, clear blue water, palm trees swaying in the breeze, you know the drill. But Koh Samui is also a great place to experience Thai culture. There are temples, markets, and villages to explore, and you can even take cooking classes or learn how to massage. Travel tip if you're looking for a more authentic experience, head to the south side of the island. Do you guys have any travel tips for Koh Samui? Drop them in the comments. 
All right, Hua Hin is a little bit different from the other places on this list. It's actually a seaside resort town that's been popular with Thai royalty for decades. So you know, it's gotta be good. It's a little more laid back than some of the other places on this list, but there's still plenty to do. You've got beaches, golf courses, night markets, and even a vineyard. Would you guys visit both Hua Hin and the Prakau Wang Palace? Let me know. Chapter 10, Pai, Small Town Vibes, Big Adventures. Okay, Pai is like the hidden gem of Thailand. It's a small town nestled in a valley in Northern Thailand, and it's surrounded by mountains, waterfalls, and rice paddies. It's the perfect place to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life and just relax. You can go hiking, tubing, visit elephant sanctuaries, or just chill out in a hammock and soak up the scenery. Would you guys be down to check out the Pai Walking Street Market? Let me know. Chapter 11, Chiang Rai, the land of golden triangles and white temples. Okay, Chiang Rai is another one of those places that's just visually stunning. It's located in the northernmost part of Thailand, and it's known for its mountains, jungles, and hill tribes. One of the most popular things to do in Chiang Rai is to visit the White Temple, which is exactly what it sounds like, a temple that's completely white. You can also visit the Golden Triangle, which is the point where Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar meet. What do you guys think is more stunning, the White Temple or the Golden Triangle? Let me know. Kanchanaburi, history and natural beauty in one place. All right, Kanchanaburi is another place that's full of history. It's home to the famous bridge over the River Kwai, which was built by prisoners of war during World War II. You can visit the bridge, learn about its history, and even ride a train across it. But Kanchanaburi isn't just about history. It's also home to stunning natural beauty, including waterfalls, caves, and national parks. What would you guys buy at the Kanchanaburi floating market? Let me know. Chapter 13, Ko Phi Phi, the island paradise you've seen in pictures. Okay, Ko Phi Phi is one of those places that's just so beautiful it doesn't even look real. It's a small archipelago of islands in the Andaman Sea, and it's known for its towering limestone cliffs, crystal clear water, and white sand beaches. You've probably seen pictures of Maya Bay, which is the most famous beach on Ko Phi Phi. Fun fact, Maya Bay was actually closed to tourists for a few years to allow the coral reefs to recover from over-tourism. Did you guys know that Maya Bay was closed for a while? Isn't that fascinating? Chapter 14, Koh Tao. Shh, it's a secret, not really. Okay, Koh Tao is a small island in the Gulf of Thailand and it's known for its world-class diving. But even if you're not a diver, there's still plenty to do on Koh Tao. You can go snorkeling, kayaking, rock climbing, or just relax on the beach. One of my favorite things about Koh Tao is that it's still relatively undiscovered. Do you guys love discovering hidden gems when you travel? Let me know. Chapter 15, Rayleigh Beach. Only accessible by boat, totally worth it. Last but not least, we have Rayleigh Beach. This place is only accessible by boat, which makes it feel even more special. It's located in Krabi Province, and it's known for its towering limestone cliffs, hidden lagoons, and white sand beaches. You can spend your days rock climbing, kayaking, swimming, or just relaxing on the beach. So, which of these 15 places are you guys most excited to visit? That's it for our whirlwind tour of Thailand's most epic spots. We hit you with the craziness of Bangkok, the chilled vibes of Chiang Mai, the island paradise of Phuket, and so much more. Now it's your turn. Which place had you packing your bags and booking a flight? Let me know in the comments. I'm dying to know which spot stole your heart. And hey, if you're feeling the travel bug, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for more travel adventures. See you in the next one.